Aloha, this is your boy, Brad Amel, a.k.a. the Hawaiian Peacock, here, watching my boy Ron on Friday Fish Facts. Let's go. Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Today we're going to get into my top five nanofish. So my list of my top five nanofish aren't necessarily the most easy to keep nanofish or the nanofish that go with anything. It's just kind of my favorite nanofish list. So starting at number five, we've got Harlequin Raspora. Harlequin Raspora's like to school together. They're a bulletproof fish and they come at a very reasonable price. Number four is Rummy Nose Tetra. The reason why Rummy Nose isn't higher on my list is because they can be kind of finicky. Now, the one nice thing about the Rummy Nose Tetra is with their red head, if it goes pale, then you know that there's something wrong with the water chemistry. But my favorite thing about the Rummy Nose Tetra is how they school together. You get a big group of these guys and they, it is a tight, tight school and it is very cool to watch. Number three on the list is the Neon Tetra. Now the Neon Tetra is very similar to the Cardinal Tetra. It doesn't look quite as nice, but for two reasons I like it better. Number one, the cost. It is a fraction of the price of a Cardinal Tetra. Number two, they're a lot easier to keep. Like the Rummy Nose Tetra, the Cardinal Tetra, sometimes there is some difficulty keeping them. So number three is the Neon Tetra. Number two on my list is shrimp, more specifically neocardinian shrimp, like your cherry shrimp and the other colored shrimp that are similar to the cherry shrimp. Now the reason that the shrimp are not number one on this list is because you have to be very careful what you put with shrimp. Most fish will eat the shrimp. In fact, if it will fit in its mouth, even a fish you think won't in it eat the shrimp, will still eat the shrimp. But they come in such a variety of colors they're very easy to breed, and I just love the little guys. They're good cleaners for your tank as well. We have gotten all the way down to number one on the list, and my number one favorite nano fish is the clown killifish. The clown killifish only gets about an inch and a half long. They're very, very colorful, very beautiful. Um, they are jumpers though, so make sure that you got, have a lid on the tank. As far as breeding goes, they're not that difficult to breed. Now the eggs take about 10 days to hatch, so it is recommended that it's a species only tank. You can keep some shrimp in there with them as long as the shrimp colony isn't too big. Because if the shrimp colony is really big, they are going to get at the killifish eggs. Now the adults won't eat the fry but the juvenile from previous batches will eat it, so you will have to separate it when that happens. These are my top five choices for a nano tank. I'm very interested to see what everyone else's favorites are, so why don't you write them down in the comments. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.